Hi guys, how are you? Um, been a bit of a time since I've done a video like this, I guess. Um, how's your holidays? My holidays are going good. Ugh, that bin bugs me, man. People always leaving the bin open. Uh, does it bug you? <laughs> uh, whenever, whenever I walk past the bin, I always have to close it. It's something that I freaking... It just bugs me, man. It's like where you put rubbish in and then you have to just close it. It's not hard. I didn't know people do high intensity running in there. You see that dude running? Anyway, yeah, you, you have to close the bin, man. You can't be leaving people putting all kinds of shit in the bin and you just leave the lid the wide open. Let it all float in the air while we're all working out, smelling like shit. <laughs> But yeah, my holidays are going good. Um, I don't know if you guys are working or at college or university. But most people have holidays right now. And you get about a week off. <coughs> um, if you work in a school, then you'll have a week off. And yeah. Uh, here I'm just doing the rotator cuffs. Um, a lot of people don't do this. And they should. Because it really, it really gets deep into the shoulder. And yeah, it's not a natural movement that we do a lot, um, but it's safe and it's very good for the um, rotator cuffs. You should try it. Go on Google while you're watching this video. I make a new tab and just go to Google and type um, rotator cuff exercises. And probably 99.9% .9 of the time this will come up straight away. It's one of the best workouts you could do for the rotator cuff. Now, I always do this because, one, most workouts are upper body. Two, if you're doing lower body workouts, you're probably using your arms <laughs> to do it anyway. So, you're always using your shoulders for something, guys. Whether it's opening the door, um, lifting something up closing something like like the bin uh, shit anything you know what i mean scratching your head you're always moving that arm and your shoulder just your shoulder's doing everything i like doing this um i, I just call them shoulder pull downs <laughs> i don't think that people can give any name to any workout i guess it's just what became famous like um a lot of um you know um what's it called uh upright rows they actually used to be called pull-ups <laughs> i know if you if you look at it go and search for upright rows um i don't know where you guys could find this out um maybe try wikipedia um go on wikipedia and type in upright rows and maybe it'll mention something about them being called um pull-ups back in the old days but they ain't they ain't called pull-ups obviously anymore because we do pull-ups which are basically um, chin-ups, but in basically chin-ups are reversed pull-ups. Chin-ups use the biceps, and they do use the back muscles as well, but biceps give you an advantage. Pull-ups, on the other hand, for uh, pull-ups are harder, man. But they basically, mo most of it is use, using your back muscles for pull-ups. That's why they're so hard, because most people don't really have big back muscles. Now these big boys here, these 32 kgs, they're huge, man. <laughs> but my left arm is my weak arm. My right arm is my strong arm. My right arm is my special arm. <laughs> special arm. But yeah, I got that up on my left arm quicker than I did on my right. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I basically... Frick, shit, that shakes the floor. Uh, but we've gone down to 30s now. That was 32, now I'm doing 30s. But I don't know if it's because I know that my left arm is going to be weaker. So I get that left arm quicker and then I forget about the right arm. But back in the day, I couldn't even get past 20s on these, man. I don't know why, but maybe it's because I've gotten a bit older and my body's growing more. But maybe, but like 7 months, shit, I couldn't even get past 22s. But now I'm freaking doing 32s and shit like that. I, I reckon I could do 36s, but I'm always doing benching before these dumbbells. Now you see, you'll see me doing benching later on in this video. 
Uh, the video ain't that long. I try to keep it quite short. I think <laughs> I don't even know how long this video is. But yeah. Um, yeah, there's benching at the end of this video. If you want to skip it, by all means, go ahead. But I just talk through what I'm doing. If you're making dinner or if you're making breakfast or you're just chilling. <laughs> if you're ironing or whatever, man, just leave the video rolling. I always have shit to say anyway. <laughs> whether it's crap or whether it's good. But yeah. Um, surprise, surprise, guys. I'm doing 25 kgs now. 25 plates now are my medium. Um, 25 plates used to be my heaviest. But now it's my medium. So, yeah. I'm quite happy. 25 plates, medium... <sighs> No, 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 sorry guys. 25 plates are my heaviest, 20 plates are my medium, and 15 plates are my easy. Um, I should be doing 25, 26, 27.5. I should add, add um, 2.5 plates onto the 25s instead of trying to add a 5 on. Because... You'll see in a minute how I freaking fail miserably. Like some little bitch. I kid you not. You know when you're benching and <coughs> um, you go down and then you pause and you're like, oh shit, I'm stuck. That that's that's your that's you mentally saying I can't do this. Like here, my, I blocked my mental. I blocked the mental thoughts out of here and just freaking push that shit. If you notice, uh, sometimes you always see me put my hands behind my head. And what's, what that's doing is um, basically stretching the front delts in the shoulder. And I always stretch them because when you're doing shoulder workouts, benching, especially benching, flat bench and stuff like that, it's always stretching the um, shoulder muscles. Whether you, like <laughs> whether you like it or not, guys, you're always using the shoulder muscles. But yeah... Uh, I'm doing flat bench and what do I do? 25s. I do 25s. Um, then I make my way down to 20s. But what I try here is I do 5 plates. I try to put on 5 plates like a donut. But if you don't challenge your muscles, you ain't going to get nowhere. So what I do is I ask some geezer to spot me. Simple as that. Good. Does turn have you noticed guys something going on in this video? <laughs> Look at the guy in the background. Now have you noticed did you notice when he came, when he first appeared in the video? Personal trainers are very sly. I I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But here <laughs> trust me, personal trainers are sly as fuck man. They're like those type of sly dogs that can freaking find their food in cupboards and shit and open doors they're very sneaky but here look I get this up no problem I go down and then I get stuck like an idiot I, I could have got that up but it's, it's me mentally freaking saying I can't do it but yeah man so here we are I'm going to talk to you about personal trainers and how they work and how they make their money so, personal trainers, <laughs> I've had some arguments, I've had an argument with him in the background and I've had an argument with another guy, some dude with chicken legs, he has a huge upper body, but then he has, not even huge really, but he has chicken legs and he wears these tight um, spandex or whatever he wears on his legs and just... <coughs> I don't know if you'll see him in the video, but you'll probably see him in one of my videos later, like um, a video that I'll upload after this or so. You'll probably see him, and I'll probably mention it in the video anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so um, this personal trainer here, what what they do is, they they, they walk right. They don't know shit. Most of these personal trainers, like look at that dude there, the black guy. He ain't got nothing. He's got no muscle, nothing. Um, they don't train out. They don't do shit. They've never 
worked out in their life. They just think, yeah, I've jogged around the park so I can be a personal trainer. Shit. So what do they do? They go to, um, they go on like a, a course that lasts maybe four to six weeks. Some people can freaking do the, um, the course in a week or something. I don't know. But yeah, they go on a course four to six weeks and then they get certified to be a personal trainer. And that's it. And most of them don't know shit. Like that guy that was um, showing a guy. You see the guy sneak over to the guy on the bench. Basically, he, he's a he's a fatty. He ain't he ain't got no muscle and no chest. He's he's basically what I used to look like <laughs> about a year ago, when I, uh, before I got into all the cycling and fitness stuff. Basically, before I became a freak with fitness. Um, but yeah. Look at this girl in the background. She's leaning way far too forward. Look. And a personal trainer. Um, oh, that's a guy, my bad. But yeah, they don't know nothing, guys. That guy was leaning way too forward. If you don't believe me, rewind that video and look at him. He was leaning far too forward. All you have to do is arch that back and bend down and s squat. Straight down, not forward. Poor oh, man, poor guy. But yeah, um, yeah, personal trainers don't know shit. What they do is they walk around, they look for vulnerable people, and then they scoop you up. Like, I see that guy that uh, went over to the guy on the bench earlier in this clip? He actually came over to me while I was doing my freaking rotator cuff exercises which I do before my workout and he tried giving me advice and shit like that I, I told him where to stick it I was like mate, um, mate I don't need no help please just leave me be I, I told him what am I doing <laughs> what the fuck am I doing look at them lips yeah look at them lips yeah yeah I'm always freaking moving. <laughs> but yeah, I told that guy where to fucking go, man. I don't like personal trainers, man. They fucking annoy me. If I had a shotgun, I'd shoot them all. But yeah, um, what they do is they walk around and freaking scoop you up. And then they say, what, what are you trying to learn? Are you, are you trying to build muscle? Yeah, yeah. Some freaking like Hodge Twins freaking statement. Hey, man. <laughs> You trying to build some muscle? Yeah? That's good. That's real good. And they fuck <laughs> You know what I mean? Shit they say, oh what are you trying to do? Shit, I can I can bench a lot on this. Freaking um decline benching shit. I can get a lot out of decline, I don't know why. But if you notice I can get a lot of reps out of decline. But yeah, look at this. Freaking slow motion editing right there. <laughs> no, it's the camera fucking sliding up. But yeah, um, I fucking I, I I talk so much shit. I'm good at this commentary stuff. <laughs> I'll just go on rambling about some random fucking ass shit. Keep you guys freaking hooked. But um, yeah, uh, duh, 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 duh. yeah, they'll scoop you up. Basically, they'll come over to you and say, "What are you trying to learn?" Are you, try are you trying to build some muscle? Well, here, I have this piece of fucking paper where I downloaded from the internet, which has all these workouts, and blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Ten minutes later, blah, 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 blah. Five minutes later, blah, blah, blah. That amounts to 15 minutes. So, I'm selling it for 20 pounds. Do you want to buy it? Without this, you can't do nothing. You can't build muscle. You cannot get results without my sheet of paper show basically fucking telling you what to do. Fuck them. Fuck personal trainers. You don't need it. What personal trainers do? The only way you can get a good personal trainer is if you get those trainers that fucking celebrities have. That they pay hundreds of pounds for sessions. Freaking hell, man. That's like your weekly income for most people. But personal trainers that you see in these places, they pay like 300 and something pounds a month to freaking 
basically advertise themselves in a the gym. These guys don't get paid to freaking work out. They basically freaking walk around and they're basically self-employed throughout the gym. They have to pay a fee to the gym, which is a fucking lot actually. That's almost two grand every two months. So what's that? Freaking three six. That's six hundred every two months. Okay. So six times six. We'll do uh, six times six. Six times six. That's twelve. That's thirty six. That's probably around three thousand six hundred pounds a year to basically advertise themselves here. If I'm wrong guys because I'm very tired, three thousand six hundred around around three hundred pound a month. If I'm wrong guys correct me on that. Six times six, yeah blah blah blah. So yeah that's about three thousand and something pounds a year to freaking walk around and advertise themselves and they're self employed. I don't know where they get all this money to pay but they must be doing something. But yeah, fuck, I'm knackered, man. Yeah, they scout around, they try to sell you freaking workouts for like £25 when you don't fucking need it. They don't give a shit about. Look, what's. Look, he's leaning forward. Stop leaning forward. Arch your back and freaking just squat. You don't need to freaking lean forward. See what I mean? The tra the trainer that's training him don't know what he's doing. Out of all respect, I, I just can't be asked to go over there and tell him. It might freaking um, ruin his chances of making money. But, yes, I can't. I'm just looking at him now, watching him work out. His form is alright, but that other dude's form is all over the place. And obviously, he's a beginner. And that guy ain't freaking helping him. He's just letting him do it. Because all they care about is getting money. Money, money, money. Now, if anyone wanted training, shit, I'd do it for free. That's how much I care about people getting fit. I'd do it. Look, here we go. That's actually. Yeah, that's actually better. No, he's leaning forward again. Now, by now, I would I would be telling him to stop leaning forward and lean more back and freaking squat straight down. Now, I'm just watching him now, seeing what he's saying to him. It's all about body language and lip reading. <coughs> yeah, I can lip read, guys. <laughs> Most of the time. Depending on how close. Like, I have a 50-inch TV, so I'm just watching this on a 50-inch TV. I'm not very good at lip reading, but... most of the, If you practice, you can basically read people's lips, because... It's just like freaking reading writing, isn't it? Reading words. Just looking at the shape of the mouth and how it... Yeah. Look, he's sitting down on his ass. Shit, I'd be standing up. What the fuck is that trainer doing? Oh my god. Get off your ass and freaking show him. Freaking make sure you don't lean forward. Fuck's sake. Anyway. What am I doing now? I'm doing... I'm doing... Incline. Incline is freaking hard, man. If anyone tells you it's not hard... They're fucking lying. Incline is one of the freaking hardest fucking exercises I've come across. 
but once you get the f um, form right and um, able to control it just enough it's all good man but it took me a while to find a sweet spot <sighs> finding a sweet spot for um, incline is quite hard uh, for incline when I bench when I flat bench and the flat bench I mean fl when I bench when I fucking flat bench and when I decline bench and incline bench I always keep it just below my chest uh, below the nipple I never do it above if I do then I'm doing it wrong but hey see I'm so freaking tired from doing the benching that yeah these are 15 kgs so I have to go down for this um yeah if you notice guys the muscle see um the chest muscle it's thicker near the bottom it's thicker near the bottom and thinner near the top so basically you've got less muscle near the top so you need to I know muscles don't have separate um parts to them but I do believe that they can it's like oh it's hard to explain ain't it some people say that mu parts of muscles can't be trained um, the parts of the pecs can't be trained that is somewhat true because it's just one big muscle but when you do like incline benching it does strain the top of the muscle more so that's why the top of the muscle gets thicker than the bottom well it gets thicker like the bottom does like when we do like um, push ups and all that it's mostly the bottom of the chest that gets freaking um what's it called contracted or whatever shit it's mostly the bottom of the chest that's being used and all the all the thickness of the chest goes towards the bottom most of the time that's how it is well that's how it is for me I don't know how it is for you guys but huh, that's how it is for me That that's why in a quick amount of time I get um definition um, below the chest I don't know why but that is just how people are in it but yeah we're coming near the end of the video now I've been talking for 22 minutes man shit that's a long time but yeah 22 minutes now just finishing off this freaking incline benching here we go you gotta get that form right you gotta get that you gotta control it. I always try and make sure I go down on both hands. And I, I always um try and make sure that I don't extend my arms, but sometimes I do it and you forget because the weight's kind of light and you just don't think about it, but it can catch up to you. But yeah guys, I'm out and it was nice talking to you and hopefully you enjoyed me ranting and talking shit. <laughs> Peace.